In this video, I'll show you how to factory reset your iPhone 15. Could be the 15, 15 Pro, 15 Plus, Pro Max, doesn't matter. They all work the same way. So what you need to do uh, before even starting this is to back up everything that you need to save for later. So most people will like to back up their picture. So go ahead. There's multiple ways to do this. I won't show you all of them, but Fortunately, I have a video showing you how to transfer your photos via USB Type-C to a USB thumb drive if you want to save them this way. Or if not, just go in settings. Usually when you open settings, you see this screen. Tap over here on your name, on your Apple ID, then tap on iCloud. And if you have enough space on your iCloud, if you go down over here where it says iCloud Backup, tap on it. Make sure that this is turned on and Press on backup now. Now you just have to wait depending how much stuff is to backup, how many pictures or how much data. You just have to wait until it's fully completed. This way your data won't be lost even if you factory reset your phone. So I will just wait and I'll come back when this is done over here. Once uh, the backup has been done, the second thing you need to do is to go back in settings, click on your Apple ID again, and go down like this until you see sign out. You see, sign out, tap on it. If in your case, just like here, it's grayed out and you cannot have access to sign out. I'll just show you how to disable this small error that you see. So go back in settings. This is the main menu of settings. Go back until you see, whoops, it's up here, screen time. Tap on screen time then go down and you should see content and privacy restrictions. Tap on this and usually it's because this is turned on. So go ahead and turn it off. Tap, type, sorry, the screen time uh, passcode. This is one you created. Mine is this one. And now it will be turned off. Usually this solves your problem, but if not, I'll just show you something quick. Let me go back to see if it's no, it's not possible. So what you need to do is no problem. All you have to do is to go back into the over here. Whoops, up here again. Screen time, go back here, go down all the way down and then tap on the last option over here. Turn off app and website activity. Type your screen time um, passcode, then turn off app and website activity. Then you need to go into the content privacy restrictions again. Turn it on, turn it off. Go back, go back, and go back to your Apple ID finally, and you should see sign out. Finally, we can do it. Yes. So press sign out, and then press sign out on the top right corner. Sign out. Now you just have to wait. Perfect. Go down until you see general. Tap general. Then in this menu, go down until you see transfer or reset iPhone. And then over here, it should be erase all content and settings. And here it will just confirm with you that erasing will remove your personal data so this iPhone can uh, be safely traded in or giving away. So this is exactly what we want. Press continue. Tap the passcode you created for this iPhone. And then press erase iPhone. Okay, so go ahead, press erase iPhone and the screen will turn black with the Apple logo. Now you just need to be patient because everything will be erased and this can take a few minutes. So I suggest you put aside the iPhone and come back in about five minutes. Usually it takes less than this, but you know, just to make sure. All right, so I'm back. Mine took about three minutes and a half, maybe around that. Uh, a thing I forgot to tell you is uh, I suggest you keep your iPhone charged, or well, at least before uh, attempting to factory reset your iPhone, make sure that it's fully charged. Mine still had battery, but Obviously, you don't want your iPhone to, uh, to not have enough juice in the middle of a factory reset. So this is the only thing I forgot to mention. Otherwise, here we go. The iPhone is ready to be set up like a brand new one. So in case you were reselling it, the other person, the new owner won't have access to any sorts of info of yours. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like. 
comment down below, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.